The Castis, welcome back. I'm glad you could be here to witness this momentous occasion. Why are the Archons in chains? I invited my dear siblings here for one final lesson in leadership. It looks like an execution to me. Every experience in life should be a lesson, including death. You've been to the Underworld, so I know you understand what these fools do not. You asked me to help the Archons. I did. Their problems are solved. Their problems only existed because they couldn't perform the duties their roles demanded. You're going to murder your brothers? For what? For order? For peace? For Atlantis! For Atlas, you mean. I am the rightful heir to Atlantis. I should be the Dicastis. I cannot defy Poseidon's will, but these fools don't deserve their power. I'll be a better Archon in their stead. Killing your brothers is a waste. Teach them to learn from their mistakes, and they'll do whatever you say. They can't do that if they're dead. I watched you help my brothers. You always found solutions that tried to preserve life. Some of my kind view humans as a resource to be sacrificed. If we want them to progress, we must be an example. We all look up to someone. I think they look up to you. Wise, Dicastis. I respect your decision. For the moment. So what now? If you're going to one day rule the city, Cassandra, you're going to have to learn a very important lesson. That's what I get for helping you? A lecture? Just some words of advice. Nothing in Atlantis is what it seems at face value. This city is old, and those that call it home are even older. You have helped me, Dicastis. And for that, you have my thanks. This isn't over, Atlas. On the contrary, I'm done here. This is intense. So I can't tell where my hand ends and the stuff begins. These devices are incredible. I almost feel like I can hear them speaking to me. I can almost hear my staff's thoughts. I wonder if he can hear mine.
both reacting with my staff somehow. Almost like they were meant to be together. like this Access granted. Initiating the Forge protocol. Select preferred weapon configuration.
Initiating Forge Protocol. Select preferred weapon configuration. Trust a stranger? I'm no stranger. I'm El Peace. And I've been watching. That's not ominous at all. <laughs> I'll drop the cloak and dagger. I've been training to become like you. But training isn't enough. You're more than a warrior. The blood of the gods runs through your veins. I thought they preferred Isu in Atlantis. The Isu may as well be the divine with how they rule. Cold, calculating, indifferent to the people milling beneath them. But it's not just Isu blood that makes you special, is it? There's something else. Well, you tell me. I'm talking about this, your spear. Showing off for me, are you? Just a little. <laughs> are you impressed? You're strangely charming. For a thief. Flattering. But we have business to attend to, the Castis. So, what do you want from me? I'm involved with Atlas. He's afraid of taking the relationship public. He says his enemies would exploit me as his weakness, so he keeps me a secret. Wait, you're in love with Atlas? From my experience, I'm not sure Isu men truly love. Nevertheless, I need to make him see that I can be his strength. Our partnership might be a key to bridging the gap between Isu and humans. Your love is strategic. If we take the relationship public, we could marry and I could rule the district by his side, influence policy and ease the tension between the two groups. But, so long as I am merely human, it can never be. That's why I want to be like you! You seem very passionate about Atlantean politics. Atlas doesn't approach the human and Isu conflict with compassion for humanity. I believe I can bring that compassion. Someone so ready to kill his own brothers hardly strikes me as husband material. Atlas is like any Isu, aloof and unchanging. That's why we make a good team. I bring out his humanity. It would be nice to have another ally in Atlantis. What's your plan? At the Adamant Metalon, they harvest a metal used to create devices just like your spear. My spear is the strongest metal ever forged. Could this be used to forge other weapons? Well, adamant ingots could. But what I need is raw adamant. I know the one who can forge it for me. The Atlas can't suspect what I'm up to, so make sure you're not seen. Oh, is that what this metal is? I found it when I was there earlier. Here, you can have it. Nice to see that you're as skilled as you look. I'm making the right choice to become more like you. You seem fine to me. I don't know why you're trying to change. Just as you were destined to be the Castiz, I am destined for this. I just know it. Humans in Atlantis are lucky to have someone like you fighting for them. You'll make a great leader. I'm glad you understand what this means to me. Still, all you have is raw adamant. Until I take it to a skilled blacksmith so he can forge an Isu device from the adamant. Well, you know where to find the Castis when you need her. The forging takes time. What we do next will change Atlantis irreversibly. 
You should make sure you complete all your duties as the Castis before meeting me at the Loma of Atlas. Ah, the Castis! I heard you can help me with the Solar Floral Regeneration Project. Uh, the what? Oh, forgive me. Let me start from the beginning. I'm Neocles, an Imperial botanist here in Atlantis. I'm engineering a way to aid floral regrowth. The flowers here can't just grow on their own? Oh, no! You're not one of those followers of Minerva, are you? If you don't start making sense, I'm not going to know how to help you. Oh, apologies, Nikastis. You're new to Atlantis, and I'm getting ahead of myself. Let me begin. Basically, the plants are a key resource for us here. But a few cycles ago, humans overpicked them, and now the air is suffering. You want to grow more? In a sense, yes. I have a hypothesis, a theory that using a natural power source stronger than the sun will promote sustainable growth. You're losing me again. There are devices that project beams of light around the Garden of Triton. Redirecting them using the reflective surfaces would stimulate floral regrowth. You want me to move yes. the lights? Yes! And the Castis, taking care of our natural resources, would send a message to all of Atlantis. A good message, I hope. That must be the device now please mentioned. It reminds me of how I opened the door to Atlantis. Oh, that worked! First one down. Beautiful. That should do it. I'll tell Neocles it's done. Doesn't seem good. What happened? I moved your light beams. It seemed to be working, but then... The beams are aligned, yes, but the power isn't running. What do you think the problem is? Uh, none of this makes any sense. The light beams should expand across the gardens and present with enhanced photons. Oh no, something's wrong with the photons? Uh, are you making fun of me? Who doesn't know what photons are? Just me and the rest of the Greek world. N never mind the photons. When my enhanced source powers the device, it should... Oh... Unless the light is not progressing from the source, rendering it unenhanced. So the next step is... Go to the control room and make sure the power source isn't displaced. And what exactly is this source? An igneous matter consisting of Imperial... <sighs> It's a rock. Just make sure there's a rock in the control room. <sighs> Fine. I'll go see if this rock is there. Looks like Neocles was right. There is no rock here. <gasps> hey! Stop right there! Get back here! What's the Dicastis doing running around here? I'm chasing down a thief. Looks like you're the one who took Neocles' rock. My name is Melita. I'm an environmental biologist, not a thief. Neocles has no claim to a natural power source like this. That rock must be worth a lot if you're trying to steal it. You're the Dicastis and you have no idea what the power source is? Aren't you invested in the future of our resources? It's easy. Put the rock in Neocles' device, and we'll fix the flowers. This isn't Neocles' first attempt at population balancing. When the flowers were overpicked and the bees started dying, first he attempted to artificially pollinate the flowers, when he artificially pollinated the flowers, the soil degraded. When the soil... I get the idea. But then, how would you fix the gardens? I wouldn't. Nature has been healing itself for eons. 
Neoclis needs to stop meddling. Melita! You've always been obtuse about the project. No accountability for civilization's impact on the ecosystem. Insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. When will you accept your hypothesis has failed? Failed is inaccurate terminology. I simply adjusted my theory after experiencing unintended results. Enough bickering, both of you. You're right. I wanted to destroy the power source to end his project once and for all. But as the Dicastis, it should be your decision. All right, give me the rock. I'll end this once and for all. Are you mad? You've completely annihilated our chances at future sustainability. Trust in the air. Nature will heal itself if you allow it. <coughs> Thank you, the Castis. This is the right direction to go in. We might not see improvements right away, but the gardens will heal themselves. Melita said it would take time for the gardens to heal, but those flowers don't look good. I wonder what she'd make of this. The project Neocles is working on is important for the future of Atlantis. Hand over the rock. I hope you know what you're doing. Thank you. This will propel Atlantis' sustainability forward by centuries. All those cynics like Melita will see the progress eventually. Just be careful. It sounds like your theory could still use some work. This is the right course of action for all of Atlantis, Dicastis. Trust me. Please, do me the honor of returning the stone to the device. Gardens will be healed in no time. The gardens seem to be thriving with wildlife. One who holds the staff has no choice but to face both immediate and future consequences for lifetimes. That takes responsibility. I hear you, you may think I'm crazy, but at least I'm accountable. Now that I have the Isu device forge, we need to move quickly. You distract Atlas while I sneak into his private chambers. More sneaking. After Poseidon outlawed human experiments, Atlas confiscated a device and kept it. That device theoretically could add a third helix to my DNA. I've seen what these Isu devices can do. It's not pretty. The science is sound. And I've even found evidence of tests being done on humans that looked promising. In previous cycles, of course, before Poseidon outlawed experimentation. Just tell Atlas the truth. You have good intentions. If he's afraid of his enemies hurting me now, what will he think of me undergoing this procedure? Besides, he can't break Poseidon's law. I'm not sure a good Dicastis goes behind the back of an Atlantean Archon. I've been preparing for this my entire life. Don't worry. Just keep Atlas talking while I'm in his chambers. <laughs> I don't think we have anything in common. What are we supposed to talk about? The weather? Atlas is a jealous lover. And he's already threatened by your role as Dicastis. Why not play to that advantage? Whatever you do, don't mention my plans. Great. This will do wonders for our relationship. Everyone knows it's lonely at the top, the Castis. Let's go. I've studied this science extensively. Once I impart Isu DNA into my body, I should be able to use the device without side effects. It's the should that worries me. Remember, whatever you do, don't reveal my political plans to Atlas. Could trick Atlas into thinking you and I are closer than we are. Are we not close? What's there to trick? You know what I mean. Yes. Making Atlas envious would certainly be a good distraction. El 
peace. What are you doing here? With her, no less. The Vicastis and I were just taking a stroll, and I remembered I left a book on Atlantean cyclical history here. She'd like to borrow it. Do you mind if I fetch it? I... Uh, no. Do you need me to help you look for it? No, no. You two stay here. I'm sure you have much to discuss. What game are you playing, Dicastis? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm sure by now Elpis has told you about the nature of our relationship. She's hardly as discreet as I'd like her to be. What business do you have with her? What? Is Elpis not allowed to have friends? Of course she can have friends. But I suspect there's more going on here. You have nothing to worry about, Atlas. I have no schemes against you. Maybe you don't play games, but Elpis lives for them. I can tell when she's up to something. Don't talk about Elpis that way. She's not manipulative. She's passionate. So you do care for her then? You don't talk about Elpis like you love her. And you're not speaking of her as if you're merely her casual acquaintance. The truth is, Elpis and I are in love. What? <coughs> what? What have you done? I'm not weak anymore, Atlas. I can rule Atlantis at your side. This is your doing. You're trying to revolt against the issue with hybrids. No! What did you do? I didn't mean to. He was going to kill you. Ah, it seems my brother finally got his due. Was this your judgment, Digastis? I killed Atlas. It wasn't my intention. I... You hoped to rule by his side to ease the conflict between humans and Isu. He wasn't as supportive of my dreams as I would have hoped. I support you. You can assume his role as you see fit. I will handle Poseidon and my brothers. Thank you, Azais. You can't be more corrupt than Atlas. And Atlantis can't fear progress if it hopes to pass this cycle. Atlantean politics are even more dramatic than in the Greek world. What will you do now? I'm not the first Atlantean ruler to take power by force. If the Isu can do it, why not me? Still. I didn't want to start my reign this way. You started your reign by saving my life. Normally, I do the saving. I wouldn't have it any other way. Thank you, Thikastis. Peaceful from up here. It always does, but it never is. I know, Icarus. I'm tired too. I've met so many people Harkons, Kings, and now Isu. They're all the same. Go do this. Bring me that. Go kill him. I don't know if I can do this anymore. If I were ruler, things would be much, much different. What's that, Icarus? A speech from your new ruler? <clears throat> Atlanteans! Tonight, 
We tear off these clothes and make love until the sun comes up. I wonder what Alcibiades is doing these days. <laughs> or who? Who is Alcibiades? You shouldn't sneak up on people like that. I'm sorry, I didn't want to interrupt the Digastis' speech. Eh, it was more of a fantasy, really. Call me Cassandra. I thought it was wonderful, Digastis Cassandra. <laughs> Just Cassandra is fine. And what's your name? Alcon. You're even more special than all the bedtime stories my... parents used to tell me. What's wrong? My parents are missing. They left for their assignments, but they never came home. The Isu won't help me. What kind of people won't help a child find his missing parents? Some of them are nice, but some of them hate us, call us rats. I'm not a rat, am I, Dicastis Cassandra? Of course not, Alcon. <laughs> You're more of a mouse, really. <laughs> hey! You said your parents never came home. If you could tell me where they're assigned, and what their names are, it would be very helpful. Mata's name is Rene. She's assigned to the harbor. Pater is called Damadis, and he's assigned to the adamant quarry. You're very brave. Now, go home where it's safe. I'll go talk to the harbor master and whoever is in charge of the quarry. I'll come find you once I have some answers. Vigastis. Have you come to analyze the recently discovered coral permutations fastened to the hulls of our vessels? Uh, no. I'm looking for a woman named Rini. Uh, yes, well, that is a subject I have absolutely zero authority in, I'm afraid. I cannot help you. Her son is very worried. What are you doing? I like humans, and I liked Rini. Poor Alcon. But if they hear me talking to you, they'll kill me. Tell me where she is, or I'll cut you. Oh, I told you I, I don't know anything. You'll find my contact not far from here, but be careful. A trap has been set for you. You have made the Dicastis very angry. Thank you. Please don't tell Poseidon! You have compassion, Dicastis. You may be the only one who can calm the brewing storm between humans and Isu. Ah. A note? So this sign is something. I'm going to find him. Well, isn't this an honor? How'd you get past my guards? I'm looking for the Madis. And why would the great Zikastis be looking for missing humans? I never said he was missing. Very clever. Hybrid. When my humans transport adamant to the experimentation chamber, they don't always return. Occasionally they fall through the cracks, like rats. A little boy is worried about his father. Just tell me where this experimentation chamber is. Your compassion for humans is unproductive. Your hatred for humans is self-destructive. <sighs> Fine. It's in the garden of Kimopolia. But you're wasting your time. The doors are locked. Then I'll just have to find the key. You can try, hybrid. You know, treating humans like vermin will get you killed one day. That day is today. Digastis Cassandra, did you find matter in Not yet. But I know they were taken to some sort of experimentation chamber by an issue named Zarios. Zarios? But he was always so kind to us. He gave us food and defended us when the others called us rats. Do you know where I could find him? 
The doors to the chamber are locked, and he's my last hope of getting in. He's usually at the fortified Doma of Miniseas, but he's always protected by guards. That never stops me. Zarios, you've abducted your last human. This key looks like the one Atlas gave me. Maybe it can help me get into the experimentation chamber. This looks like the perfect place to hide missing humans. Locked. But I think I know what opens this. Complicated the key, the bigger the secret. The Minotaur, the Cyclops, the Riding Dread, they're monsters. Are we not all monsters? Imperfect beings striving towards our ultimate potential? Is that not why you are here? I'm here because a little boy's parents are missing, and all signs point to you. How very human. Don't worry, I'm getting everyone out of here. Didn't anyone teach you it's cruel to lie? What? What's cruel is abducting and experimenting on these people. Without sacrifice, there can be no progress. Without experimentation, there can be no perfection. You're breaking Poseidon's law. I am advancing knowledge for the betterment of Atlantis. Poseidon's lack of vision keeps us in darkness. But we are close. So very close. Humans are not animals to be caged and tortured. We created them to serve us. That is their sole purpose. Let these people go. It's too late for them. Project Olympus has already begun. 
One human escaped before the transformation was complete, and lives were lost. This won't happen again. Surely you understand. So, you've seen the beast she becomes. I'm getting these people out of here. But, don't you want to know what's behind this door? All right, I'll play. Tell me. Why tell you, when I can show you? Just know, to enter the chamber is to forfeit their lives. You cannot have both. What if I just killed you, set these people free, and broke through your stupid door? <laughs> you can't kill me, Cassandra. I can see you're struggling. What if I told you the greatest achievement in Atlantis is behind that door? And that we owe that achievement to you? What are you talking about? Through there is a path to immortality. For you. For us. Embrace your legacy. Forget these miserable humans. Abandon morality and the answers to all your questions are just beyond that door. Please! Save us or we'll die! You will be reborn! Don't you want to know why you're really here? Free the people and this door will remain closed to you forever. Pass through, however, and it will lock behind you. These rats will be mine. What will it be, the Gustis? Their lives? Or your destiny? I'm sorry. No! Please! Don't leave! What? No. If I cut down every last one of these things. <laughs> Don't waste your energy. We can always create more. These experiments have gone too far. Poseidon's going to hear about this. Fuck your door. I promised a little boy I'd bring his parents home, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Oh, very disappointing. No matter. If there are two things Atlantis has in ample supply, it is adamant and humans. Come on, let's get out of here. Thank you, the Castis. I'll get to see Alcon again. Hurry! How can we ever repay you? Tell your son if an issue ever calls him a rat again, because this Cassandra will deal with them personally. Poseidon lied to me. They've been experimenting on humans this whole time. My Dicastes has returned. 
I can only presume you've delivered judgment to Atlantis. You said you outlawed experimentation on humans. All of it was lies. These who are out of con- What are you talking about? My laws are absolute, and by them all must abide. I have declared it! Your laws have done nothing. People are suffering under your rule, and you don't even realize it. No one would have the audacity to disobey me. Surely this is a mistake. You should listen to her, you know. Shundo. Impossible! You're forbidden from entering the city. Guards! Your guards respect your sons. And when you appointed that hybrid as your dicastis, your sons turned to us. Even my sons know better than to bow to a warmonger! The humans are bringing war whether we want it or not, Poseidon. They should after what you've done. You mean what they've forced us to do. Poseidon worries about the sun and his solar floral regeneration project. Catastrophe is coming for us. On that we agree. But there is only one catastrophe. Humanity. You can't trust Eta. He's a lunatic. You have no idea the monsters. He's trapped in his hidden lair. It was hidden only to Poseidon. My wife knew everything about it. Hybrid. Project Olympus was my idea. The end of a cycle in Atlantis doesn't have to be a catastrophe. It's far worse. We've detected changes in the surface of the sun. If we don't prepare... If we don't prepare, humans will kill us all. The only ecological catastrophe we face is the one we created ourselves. When I got here, Poseidon said I was where I belonged. Someone tell me why I'm really here, now! Such sadness. She's even more human than I expected. Eta, answer her. Gladly. In you, we found opportunity. Imagine the possibilities if we duplicated your hybrid form. We could employ our technology to control your mind. You, hybrid, can be used to craft Juno's ultimate weapon. Or rather, you could have been. My husband's experiment was promising, but after observation, we've decided you are a failure. Our new weapon is far deadlier than you could ever be. The Ekatohires. Aida, you didn't. I did. The Ekatohires will rise. Project Olympus will strike fear so deeply into the hearts of humanity, they would never consider revolt. And you will declare my husband the Dicastis Vasilevs. Dicastis, stop this. If they are successful, we are doomed. All of us. You have to trust me. You, deal with these two. I'll find a way to stop their plans. Too late. The procedure was already a success. The Ekatochires lives. Can't you hear him stir? <sighs> you did this in my laboratory under the palace. Entrance was barred when I outlawed human experimentation. What is that sound? Is that your weapon? I will bring justice to these two. But I need you to stop the Ekatohires before he kills us all. Go! Oh, my God. 
experiments. I can't get too close. Remarkable. You really are the greatest of the humans and of my people. Where's Juno and Etta? Imprisoned. For now. But they will not stop. If imprisonment won't stop them, then leave them alone in a room with me. I'll make sure they never hurt anyone again. And what would that prove? That you are as cruel as Juno and her husband? I don't intend to prove anything. I intend to stop this, and save those that suffered because of your hubris. So in the end, you brought judgment to Atlantis after all. Very well, Gastis. Do you still have Cerberus's device? I didn't tell you everything about your stuff. It is a bridge between your two selves. But by coupling it with the powers of the devices you retrieved from the Cerberus and the Gatohires, we can end Atlantis' cycle forever. I wasn't just awakening my sixth sense. I was unlocking the power to destroy the entire city. In the wrong hands, the staff has the power to destroy everything. That is why you, and only you, could be its keeper. You act like you knew this would happen. I'm tired, just as you are. I waited many cycles for Atlantis's final judgment to come. I only wish it had come sooner. Think of the suffering it would have prevented. If we do this, you and your sons... My family have had generations to show kindness, modesty, temperance. We refused. And in so doing, this choice was made by us as much as by you. The humans in this city don't deserve to die. When we do this, the horns will wail and the animals will be set free. Humans in the Borimos ring will know to take their boats. I assure you, they will escape. If we sink the city but I'm in it, then I die too. No. You are the keeper of the stuff. It will protect you. Unfortunately for you, now is not your time. You said it yourself. Juno and Aida will never stop. I've seen those laboratories, the experiments in them. There's only one way to end the suffering here. Destroy this place.
My one wish is that I had more time to learn from you. With time, I may have learned to be more human. Here, Poseidon. Keeper of the Staff, your trials are over. Back in the throne room. Tell me, now that you have seen the fate of Atlantis, how do you feel? You want to know how I'm feeling? I'm tired, Alicia. Your burden is great, Keeper. The Staff will replenish your physical body, but with time, you must learn that your strength comes from within. So what was all this? What you have experienced are echoes of memories. Distorted, but no less real. Whose memories? These, you. Some were even my own. In my time as the Castis, I also tried to bring balance to Atlantis, but it wasn't enough. You? And now you. My trials in Elysium brought destruction and rebellion. Not due to you, but Persephone. She was a ruler who controlled her domain through extreme order. In so doing, you saw that her rule was doomed to failure. In the Underworld, I was forced to endure a realm of pure chaos. Indeed. Hades was a king who invited that chaos, and devastation came with it. But know this, you will be forced to endure far worse suffering before your death has come. Elysium and the Underworld were doomed. But in Atlantis, I almost thought Poseidon and I could do some good. Yet there you discovered the issue as we really were. Flawed. No matter how many times I have seen that echo of memory, my home always meets destruction. I'm ready to leave. You coming? We are entwined after all. You saw Persephone rule through order, Hades through chaos, and even had a taste of being a ruler yourself in Atlantis. It was a disaster. You have seen there is no path to power for the Keeper. In the Staff, you have the ability to bring this world to its knees, but that is not your role. You must use your strength to restrain the power of the staff, to guard it, to keep. My mother once told me I was sent by the gods to protect this world. I gave her my word. And now, I give my word to you. And what of your word, heir of memories? You must wake up and redeem yourself before it's too late, or it will be you who tears this world apart. Now awake! The interloper has found you! Wake! Now! No! Where are you? Talking to yourself, Layla Hassan. Clearly the Isu artifact has had quite the effect on you. You're going mad. Mr. Berg, you finally showed up. Most impressive. I knew if anyone could discover this place, it was you. But you left Abstergo before you could be assigned this mission. Sigma-6 found it just fine after you tapped into our comm signal. We know it was you. Correct. What you don't know is that I've been listening in for much longer. Ever since you found the Book of Herodotus, from Templar research I'm sure you stole. Abstergo are murderers, and you're nothing but their killing machine. A righteous claim. And what of the Sigma team I dispatched earlier to find you? You killed them. Look, 
I saw your files in the Abstergo database. I know about Alina. If you knew what the staff could do for her... Don't say a word about her. Then forget it. I was trying to compromise. No compromising. The artifact is coming with me. You had no right to do what you did to Deanna. You should have come after me. You're always next on the list. I'll check you off today. You're a real Yahomar, so this is over. Indeed. The world outside is coming to its inevitable end. Whose side you're on won't matter anymore. Come. Hand over the staff. It does matter. I'll always be an assassin. And if you want the staff, you're gonna have to take it from me. First Victoria! Now me! Admit it! You can't handle the power of the artifact! Wanna know my favorite thing about the staff? Don't collect. It's the... Immortality. <laughs> Petty to the end. The thing is, Mr. Berg, I don't care if you live or die. You just gotta get out of my way. <clears throat> Face it. Templar's lost. <laughs> Altair 2, come in! Oh. Atlantis oh. has been compromised! My, my legs... Alethea? Alethea! Okay, think, Layla. Your comms are broken. How do you get help? Vic, I can't do this without you. I try to hide it, but I I'm scared. I have no idea what I'm doing here. I'm alone. I need you. Please. Come back. Send me a sign, at least. Anything. Your earpiece. Can anyone hear me? Victoria, uh, we've been trying to find a way to force communication. First, we've lost everyone's vitals, and Elena. then... It's me. Layla? Uh, how? This is Victoria's channel. Where is she? What's been happening down there? Did you finish the trials? Yes, we had the staff. I finished our trials, but... That's incredible! An actual Isu artifact in assassin control. This changes everything. I'm not in control, Elena, and nothing's changed. Also, Berg is the interloper. He's in the throne room with me. Look, I'll explain everything, but the Templars know what we're doing, and they're after us. I need you to get me out of here. With you? Uh, are you safe? We fought. He passed out, but he's stable. Please don't make me check on him. You didn't... kill him? No. He's still alive. Sit tight, Layla. We're coming for you, but it might take time. What are you gonna do? Until you get here, I'm going back into the Animus. There are a lot of people to say goodbye to.